So this just happened. This boy is my son's age, so it really hits close to home. This kind of thing really infuriates me, and I see this regularly. This is happening regularly. If you are not aware of the National Pitbull Victim Awareness website, please go check it out. Click on the interactive maps where you can read news stories of people who have been attacked by pitbull type dogs. This is happening regularly. Pitbull attacks are different from other attacks because the dogs are bred for their quality of gameness, which means they don't back down from a fight. Uh, they hold on, they shake their heads, they shred the tissue. They don't just bite and let go like other breeds. Now, as usual, the dog that attacked showed no aggression before the attack. It was, again, the greatest dog ever, sweetest dog, so loving. It was the child's, quote, best friend, and nobody saw the attack coming. It is almost always the case. This is how it almost always goes down. People perpetuate this belief that pit bulls that attack were mistreated or abused in some way when they have no evidence to back this up. I know that these pit bull apologists are going to read this article and they're going to defend the dog. They are going to say it was the owner's fault because they abused their dog. They have no evidence for that at all. They're going to say it was the child's fault because he provoked the dog. They have no evidence to support that claim at all. They're going to blame the child's care uh, givers because the child was alone in the yard at the time. Now, it is impossible to supervise your child every second of the day, but they're going to have these impossible expectations, these unreasonable expectations for the parents to keep their eye on their child 24 hours a day, like every second of every minute of every hour of the day, they expect these parents, like the parents have nothing else to do. They don't have chores to do. They don't have cooking. They don't have clean. They have nothing to do but to sit there and watch the child constantly. It's impossible. When I was growing up, and this is the way it should be, children should be allowed to go play in their yards unsupervised, especially if you have a fenced yard. Like, anyways, they will never, ever, ever blame the dog. Even though most attacks like this are unprovoked, the people are minding their own business. The children are minding their own business. They're playing with their toys. They are riding their bikes. They are not paying any attention to the dog. They are, in many cases, sleeping, uh, sitting in their bouncy chairs, sitting in their car seats, and so forth. Please check out these uh, stories. I'm, I'm going to put the link in the description. The things that trigger pit bulls to attack, uh, the most mundane activities, Ridiculous. But my point in this video that I want to make is that kids should be allowed to provoke dogs. I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. I have three children. It is normal for children to pester each other. This is what siblings do to each other. I think it's just a healthy part of growing up, setting boundaries, learning boundaries, things like that. They pester each other. They get on each other's nerves. They you know, climb on each other, they wrestle, they raise their voices at each other. These are normal human activities. Babies and toddlers explore their environment naturally. They climb on things, they pull on things, they poke things. This is normal human behavior. Uh, you know, and as far as, you know, taking people's food, of course, you know, I, you're going to, anyone who is like a good parent is going to teach their children manners and teach them not to do this kind of thing. But, you know, look at the average person, right? Look at the public. The average person is really dumb. Average people are really stupid. They are not aware that, you know, you should teach your children to behave in certain ways. Most people nowadays are raising their kids. The kids are out of control. They don't have manners. Uh, but anyway, if you're going to allow the presence of a fanged predator in our society, you have to take this into consideration that not every parent, and I would wager most parents, are not teaching their children 
uh, proper etiquette uh, when it comes to dealing with other children, never mind animals. How many people are aware that dogs don't like being hugged, right? Most people don't know this. But the point is that a normal, healthy human is not going to rip off your ears and your scalp and your cheeks if you climb on them or if you pull on their beard or if you get too close to them when they are eating. If a human would react in such a way, they would be locked up and they would be removed from society. Now, healthy humans do not react this way. A healthy human is not going to rip the face off a child for poking him or her, for uh, disturbing them when they are sleeping, for getting too close to them if they are in pain, uh, pinching them, poking them, climbing on them, whatever. A normal human is not going to rip their face off. A normal healthy human does not react that way. A healthy dog will not always, but they can and they do. And dog owners know this. And that is why they tell everyone, you know, don't do this to the dog. Don't do that. Avoid this. Avoid that. Don't teach. Don't allow your kids to do this or that. There was a case of a child who stuck his arm. And you know what? I actually communicated with the mother. The mother's official statement is that the child did not do this. But all over the media, they were saying that the child stuck his hand through the fence and this provoked the Huskies into eating his arm off. And instead of sympathizing with the child, they defended the dogs. They, you know, you read things like this. This is a level of insanity that enrages me. It infuriates me so much that I have to try not to think about this shit because it riles me up so much. It makes me so sick, literally. Uh, a child should be able to stick their hand through the fence. That is not what happened with this boy who had his arm eaten off by Huskies that before that moment had never shown any aggression. They were great family dogs, very sweet dogs. Ate this child's arm off. This child didn't stick his arm through the fence, but if he had, it still would have been the dog's fault. Because even if he had, he should have the right to stick his arm through a fucking fence because there should not be a dangerous predator on the other side of that fence. If a child is playing with an action figure or something, oh, my little guy wants to go in a cave. Oh, here's a hole in the fence. Oh, that's going to be a cave. They're, you know, they're in their own little magical worlds and they should be allowed to stick their hands through the fence. I'm crying right now because I have a six-year-old and I know how they play and I know that they should be allowed to do this stuff. And even in cases where the children climb on dogs or whatever, do whatever, they should know that that child is not a threat. Look, when a human tears someone's face off, they can do that. They are justified in defending themselves. If they believe their lives are in danger, if they believe that that person is you know, going to harm them or kill them, you're allowed to defend yourself and, and inflict physical harm on that other person. But these children are not trying to harm the dogs. You know, if a child bends over and tries to kiss a dog, and again, how many parents taking into consideration how stupid your average person is, how many are teaching their child that kissing a dog is not a good idea, right? Children are growing up in a culture where they are seeing cartoons where dogs are portrayed as superheroes, firefighters, and so forth. Uh, we are telling them and teaching them from all sides. We are constantly bombarding them with the message that these dogs are human-like, that they are sweet, loving, so forth, you know, and, and, and family members, siblings. We're calling them fur babies. We're referring to them as your brother, your sister. Insanity. So children, of course believe that these animals are like humans. So what human doesn't like to be hugged? What kind of human doesn't like to be kissed? You know, they're going to do that to the dog. And then when they do that, they get their faces ripped off. These children are not trying to harm the dogs. They are only trying to show affection, get their faces ripped off. They should be allowed to be children. I want to make the point that a child should be allowed to behave like a child in their home, in their yard, whatever. 
Uh, we should not have these crazy expectations. And we have to remember how stupid the average person is. We have to have laws in place to protect the public, taking into consideration how dumb the public is. We have laws in place to protect the public. We need to protect the public from these dogs, these Terminator dogs. And my next video is going to be about how these dogs are Terminator dogs, pit bull type dogs that attack without showing warning signs. Normal dogs growl. They give a warning. These game dogs, these dogs bred for gameness don't give warnings. And they are triggered by Sudden movements, sudden sounds, they will go for the face because that is what they were bred to do. They were bred to attack the face of bulls. If a creature is so volatile that it may possibly rip the face off a child for the child behaving like a child and engaging in normal child behaviors, then that creature has no business in human society. Human or not, we live in a human community, a human society, and we expect civilized behavior from the inhabitants of this society. So dogs are not civilized. They are unpredictable predators that have no remorse, no compassion, no empathy, no guilt. They attack because they are instinct driven. They have no conscience. They have no sense of morality, of good or bad, right or wrong. Now, what do we do with humans like that? We put them away and we get them out of society. We need to do the same thing with dogs. I don't care if the creature ripping the face off this child is a homo sapien or a canine. It doesn't matter. The damage is the same. The outcome is the same. We need laws in place to protect these children from having this happen over and over and over. And if you don't believe me that this is happening over and over again, check out the, the websites. I'm going to put links in the description. Follow these pages for a month. You will be shocked. You know, people talk about the fatalities. No, not all these people. People are not dying necessarily, but they are becoming disfigured for life, traumatized for life. Do you think this child is ever going to feel safe going outside again? Do you think he's ever going to feel healthy, normal, and be able to function normally in his society? No, I guarantee you, he is changed for life. Do you think he's going to be able to get a normal job with his missing ears and his scars? And how many children this happens to every year? 77 every fucking day in the USA? This is happening to 77 people per day, probably more because these statistics are from 2015 and the number of dogs in our neighborhoods has grown exponentially since then. It's an absolute infestation in every goddamn community in North America now. We could not go trick-or-treating this year without having blocky-headed mutants rush up to the door to greet my kids when they rang the doorbells to say trick-or-treat. These mutants with heads like toasters and eyes like fucking rattlesnakes that people for some reason think are adorable. You, We are dealing with a mental illness that is the worst mental illness I can think of. I think it is worse than psychosis, schizophrenia, anything you can find in the DSM. This dog worship shit is, is, is so much worse. By far, it is just the most insane, horrible thing because these people who worship these monsters, these fucking furred terminators are without empathy. They're without compassion. They look at a news story like this and all they can think about is how to defend the fucking dog that did this to this innocent child. I am so sick of it. And I need to go relax and spend some quality time with my six-year-old who I'm trying to keep safe from the three pit bull mixes across the street. My kids can't play outside without the worry that their lives are in fucking danger. And you know what? Their lives are in danger. I have the fucking evidence right here. And these people who argue against me have nothing but delusions and denial. And this needs to stop. It needs to stop yesterday. Even if this happened to one child, that would be justification to eradicate these monsters. Just 
let them go extinct, just kill them all, bullets between the eyes, put them on a spaceship into the sun. I don't care, get rid of them. Because our children are infinitely more valuable than these shit-eating freaks that mutilate, disfigure, maul, dismember, rip the fucking guts out, the windpipes out, sever the arteries, eat the arms off. And you know what? It's not just pit bulls, guys. It's huskies. It's rottweilers. It's all these large, powerful breeds. German shepherds, they all need to go ASAP. I'm so sick of children being killed and disfigured, and I'm so sick of people accusing me of being crazy. You are crazy if you do not see the major problem with this society we live in. And one day, future generations are going to look back and they're not going to believe the shit that we are putting up with. That we are defending. We worship these things. Worship them. We put them above children. It's crazy. I, I don't even have words for this level of craziness. And I'm rambling on now. I'm going to go spend time with my son. You guys have a good day. And remember, the future is dog free.